Well, a new exhibit opens at the Durham Museum in a couple weeks. It'll be thanks to many of you. A fun twist, uh, searching for the 70s that really personalizes the experience for our community. Yeah, here with that, Carrie Meyer. Good to see you, Hi, Carrie. Hi, Carrie. Good morning. So good to have Listen, you here. Listen, before we get into that 70s stuff, I want to talk about the Prohibition exhibit. It just wrapped yes. up, right? I went there on Saturday, uh -huh. and it was fantastic looking at, uh, you know, how Prohibition came to be, how it ended and really the impact on Omaha. What was the response from that exhibit like? It was fantastic. Like? It was a great exhibition. We are so pleased that so many people came down to visit it. Yeah. And it was it was a fantastic mm -hmm. one. We're, I was actually packing up artifacts yesterday with our oh, couriers. Sad, so. yeah. <laughs> but the, the local angle I thought was really impressive. So good yes. job on that. Thank Congrats. you very much. Okay, let's talk about the 70s. And the local angle. And the local <laughs> angle, right. And the local <laughs> angle of the 70s, that. right. Yeah. Because this opens February 18th, and my father-in-law says, if you remember the 70s, you weren't there. <laughs> Still trying to figure that out. But give us some background on this. That's one of the reasons we want to do this. So, uh, <laughs> exactly. Remind all those Dogs baby boomers about what right. happened. Right. So Documerica, the Searching for the 70s, is uh, from the National Archives Smithsonian Partnership. So two of our national partners. Mm -hmm. And uh, we wanted to bring this here because it's it's just showing this recent history. And a lot of people, as you said, do remember it. Uh -huh. uh, but it's it's the uh, EPA to put together this project to take these photographs. And they, in turn, made a time capsule of the 1970s. Uh -huh. The Pictures show not only the environment, yes. but the clothing and different aspects of life. So. And that's just it. The photography project, and we've got all of these cool images. Mm -hmm. And some of these, I don't know if you want to speak to anything in particular here, Carrie. Uh, but the local angle on this, how does that play in? Well, one of the things that we did uh, was a new initiative for us, which was crowdsourcing artifacts. And we don't want to try to interpret the entire decade of the 70s. Mm -hmm. That would be <laughs> impossible. But we want to have, create a space where people can remember. Mm -hmm. And yes, a lot of these images, I mean, the EPA was looking at sort of a baseline of what is the environment at this time. Uh -huh. But at the same time, they're capturing people in their everyday lives, the insides of malls and homes and things like that. So mm -hmm. uh, we wanted to create that so if you come to the museum you'll see artifacts that over 200 people from the community have lent to us mm -hmm. to show the clothing the furniture um, the toys mm -hmm. things like that oh well, uh, we got a lot of stuff but anything stand out what I guess what was most memorable or your favorite piece that came out of that crowdsourcing <laughs> well there's the clothing is fantastic I, love, I, I love that we have everything from wedding dresses to things that crocheted ponchos and just all kinds of things like that we'll have an electric car from the Smith car collection in uh -huh. Lincoln uh, we'll have my personal favorite Star Wars collectibles, uh -huh. uh, <laughs> things like that, uh -huh. um, an Atari that you can uh, actually play, 8-track, right. you know, things like that, vinyl records, yeah. all kinds of things, furniture you can sit on. Uh -huh. So, and usually in this one, you can actually interact with some of the loans. And we have gotten permission from people, uh -huh. so good. you can actually have a little bit of fun with it. Isn't exhibition. that neat? Look at this. I mean, look at this. <laughs> I know. Some attitude. That's right. bananas. No kidding. You know, you like to say that a lot. <laughs> I do. That was that's started bad. way back in the 70s. So. <laughs> so what kind of um, programs or activities are you wrapping around this exhibit because that's something you're fond of at the Durham yes, too. Yes, absolutely. So we have some up-close tours that we'll be doing with local experts that'll take you through. Not a picture-by-picture -picture tour, mm -hmm. but expounding on their expertise. We have Shannon Parrish coming in from the National Museum of American History. She'll talk about uh, her title uh, talk is called What Archie Bunker Said mm -hmm. and how entertainment oh, shaped our national identity. Heavens, that's in March. Right. Yes. And we're partnering with film streams to screen Saturday Night Fever. Oh, good. That's so, awesome. yeah, that'll be a fun that'll one. That'll be in April. Awesome. Uh, it's still winter, but we're looking ahead to summer a little bit and some of the things that our kids can do when it comes to the Durham Museum. What, what do you have lined up this summer? We have so much lined up with our top secret exhibition this summer, but we have summer camps as well. And so we have a, a, a camp related to that. And we have all of them are taught by certified teachers. They're half day, full day camps. Um, and there's all kinds of different themes. So mm -hmm. fossil fever, you can be a paleontologist, you know, uh, you can go on a meet the Metro uh, and look through, uh, go to the first, top of First National Bank Tower, meet a judge down at the courthouse, uh -huh. different things like that. So those camps, those are like one day only? They're all week. Day. So yeah. it's a week camp. It's a, so they're week long camps. For. And then during the holiday weeks of Memorial Day and Fourth of July, we do have single day camps. Yeah, but mm -hmm. you drop them off in the morning for those week camps, pick them yep. up at night. You don't mm -hmm. just leave them there all week, right? No. <laughs> you gotta come get them at you the end of the day. You do have to come get them, yes. Are you asking for yourself or, or Dang a it. friend? Are you asking for a friend? <laughs> <laughs> Some of those themes, though, and, and we've seen it too, uh, the more popular, and they go quickly. So they do. a word to the wise to first timers who are looking at these camps, if you see something that piques your interest, it makes sense to act quickly because it does go. Yes, they are very popular mm -hmm. and, and we like that. We like to see people that Oh, of course you do. I just don't want to say that people miss out on stuff. Absolutely, like, Why didn't you warn me? You've been warned, okay? Uh, another thing that you want to remind people about, and we did this over the weekend, we purchased 
our annual membership. Mm -hmm. Yes. Right? So, it, I mean, it's January, so you got the whole year. Yep. You have a year anyways. It's a calendar year, uh, so you'll get to see all of our programming, our exhibitions, uh, discounts on summer camp. So if you want to do that at the same time as you're registering your kiddos, please feel really? free. Can you talk about the cost? Because they're yeah. not, I mean, they're so affordable. Yeah, family membership is $60. So uh, you can just get in, in there and So then, for $60, uh, you can come to the museum anytime you want with your yep. family. Anytime, all the time. Mm -hmm. we'll, and we'll then love you get to those discounts it. on Absolutely. the summer camps, the day summer camps. Summer camps and the gift shop, different things like that. So awesome. Yeah. The uh, the Durham and what we're talking about today mostly <laughs> is that new exhibit that's coming and that opens on February 18th, 18th mm -hmm. and it runs through April 30th. 30th. <laughs> 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 there it is, right there. Uh, the phone number, in case you're curious about searching for the 70s, or perhaps you'd like to inquire about a membership, it's 402-444-5071. And then online, durhammuseum.org. And where do we find you? Hard to miss, off 10th Street. Yes. Thank you so much for being here Thanks, today. Yeah. Thank Appreciate you very much. It. And remember, if you remember the 70s, you weren't there. <laughs> Thanks, Carrie. I, I wasn't born, <laughs> like this is where I'm not making friends, I know, but I wasn't born until 1980, so it's fun to look at <laughs> That's great, Mayor. That's really funny. <laughs> Guests of the Morning Blend start their day with calling.